yeah, I might go shopping with Kayla and Alice tomorrow, but I'm still not 100% sure what all my plans are, to be honest. Yeah, I don't really know exactly what I'm doing yet. Probably just gonna do some reading and stuff. One order of pancakes. And the breakfast special. Enjoy. Thank you, we will. <sighs> you really couldn't be more obvious, you know. Huh? This is getting ridiculous, Skylar. You don't even know the guy, and yet here we are at the diner, yet again, at 10.30 a.m. on a Sunday when he's on his shift. Hey, the food here is great. These pancakes never get old. And I do know him. I see him here all the time. Oh yeah? Tell me something you know about him. I know his name is Austin. It's literally on his shirt. Anyone can know that. Okay, well, I know he works here every Saturday and Sunday from 9am to 4pm and on Mondays from 4pm until 10pm. Oh, and occasionally on Wednesdays. Okay, that's just creepy. He doesn't even know your name. He knows my order. He always asks the usual and he remembers how I like my extra syrup. That's just his job. Not to mention he sees you here every week ordering the same thing every time. He couldn't forget it if he tried. If I ordered the same thing every time he came here, he'd have my order memorized too. Okay, Christy. Well, not all of us are fortunate enough to pull every guy that's ever breathed. You have the looks, personality, confidence, and everyone loves you. Guys aren't knocking down my door to date me, so at least let me have this. Besides, I'm just fantasizing, and like I said, the food here is great. Sky, hey, you're amazing. Don't put yourself down. I just don't want to see you hurt. And not every guy is trying to get with me. Austin definitely hasn't. He's barely said anything to me. Yeah, well, Austin barely says anything to anyone. He's probably just intimidated by you. Oh, brother. Or maybe he has a girlfriend. Ever thought of that? Oh, he doesn't. I found his Instagram and he is single. He broke up with his last girlfriend a year ago. Okay, it's official. You're a complete stalker. But whatever, you're right. I'm not gonna bug you on this anymore. If coming here every weekend to see Austin makes you happy, then I'll let you have that. Thank you, Christy. And hey, I enjoy seeing you here every weekend too. I know. See you, Christy! Bye. <sighs> Ugh, maybe Christy is right. This is getting pathetic. I wish I had her confidence to just go up to him and talk to him, but it'd be completely embarrassing when he rejects me. I mean, why would he ever like me, especially when Christy is right there? Whatever, I just want to go home, lay on the couch, and binge Netflix. Let's try not to think about Austin for once. Whoa! What was that? Huh? What the heck? What is this doing on the ground? Huh, it's empty. Oh! Hey, Alice! What do you want? Um, is, is this yours? Uh, no. Does it look like I'd be seen with any sort of literature? Books are a waste of time. Jeez, okay. Well, it's probably just gonna get ruined if I leave it on the ground. Oh, what the heck. I always did want to start journaling. Maybe this is my sign. I should have said something earlier. Yes, he's my boyfriend, and- Ugh. This feels so unproductive to be watching TV in the middle of the day. But it's not like I have anything better to do. Well, there is that homework assignment due, but we're gonna pretend that doesn't exist. <sighs> huh? Hmm. Maybe there is something better to do. Let's give this a go. This thing looks so fancy and antique. I really hope this wasn't like someone's special family heirloom or something. I'm Skylar, and this is my journal. Well, it's mine now, I guess. It feels kind of dumb writing to nobody, knowing that no one's actually listening. But do you ever just feel like sometimes the world's against you? Okay, maybe that's a stretch. 
I'm not miserable, but my life could be a lot better. I mean, right now, it's literally pouring rain outside, and I hate rain. It's so depressing. <sighs> I wish it was a nice sunny day. That would at least lift my spirits. Or I wish I already finished that homework assignment. I don't feel like doing that tonight. Huh? It stopped raining. Maybe this book is listening to me after all. School is not my favorite in general. My grades aren't perfect, and literally nobody likes me. Except for Christy, because we've been best friends since forever. Sometimes, I wish Christy knew how it felt to be unpopular for once, though. She doesn't get how difficult it can be when no one thinks you're cool. Then there's Austin. No, Skylar. No writing about Austin. He takes up too much of your brain already. We don't need him all over paper, too. <sighs> Uh, let me guess, stayed up all night binging Netflix? No? Yeah. Good morning, class. First things first. I'm gonna collect your homework assignments that were due for today. <gasps> oh no. What is it? I- is something wrong, Skylar? I- um, yes. I'm so sorry, Miss Brown, but I completely forgot about the homework assignment due today. But I promise, I'll hand it in tomorrow. Oh, there's no need, Skylar. You must be confused with a different assignment. I walked into class today and saw your homework assignment already in my desk. I'll have it marked by the end of the day. Thanks for getting in early. The rest of you, take notes. What? What? But no, there must be misunderstanding. I'm sure that I didn't- Skyla is very sleepy this morning, Miss Brown. She's forgetting things. Skyla, what are you doing? That's alright. The rest of the class, please hand in your assignment. I didn't do that assignment, Christy. Well, obviously you did, so don't sabotage yourself. And even if for some reason you didn't and she's mixed up, now you're off the hook. I- I guess. You're right. It's just so weird. I would have sworn my assignment is still crumbled up in the bottom of my Hey, backpack. can you move your head? I can barely see past you with that crazy hair. Hey, it's not my fault my hair's so poofy. What the heck is wrong with you? What was that about? Quiet down, everyone. Alright, now to begin our lesson for today. It's just so weird, Christy. I never get 100% on assignments, especially not in math. But that homework assignment, I got 25 out of 25, and I didn't even do it. Yet, when I got a return, it had my name in it and my handwriting and everything. I just don't get it. Well, I wouldn't be complaining. It sounds like a win-win to me. Oh, there's Kayla and Alice. Kayla, Alice, hey. Still on for shopping today, right? Uh, sorry, Christy, and no offense, but we'd rather just go the two of us. You don't really fit in with us. Yeah, no hard feelings, though, okay? But, but, what? Whoa, what the heck was that about? I've never seen Alice and Kayla like that with you. I, I don't know. Even this morning, they wouldn't even look at me. In fact, all of today, everyone's been avoiding me. Like I don't even exist. And people are just treating me so different. Kayla and Alice are my closest friends next to you. Maybe I did something wrong. Trust me, Christy, you didn't do anything. They're the weirdos if they're avoiding the literal most popular girl in the school. Yeah, but all of a sudden, I don't feel popular at all. Not even close. This sounds like my everyday life. <gasps> what? What is it? I, 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 I think I gotta go. Sorry, Christy. Really? You too? No, no, no. It's not like that. We're still good. I promise. I'll see you at the diner. See you. It can't be. It can't be. It just can't be. It's impossible. I wish I already finished that homework assignment. I don't feel like doing that tonight. Sometimes I wish Christy knew how it felt to be unpopular for once. She doesn't get how difficult it can be when no one thinks you're cool. Mama, my, my, my wishes came true. But how? There's no way. There's just no way. But the rain. When I wished for the rain to go away, it instantly did. I wished for my homework to be done, and it was. I wished for Christy to know how it felt to be unpopular, and... And now she does. This is crazy. This is insane. This is... Absolutely incredible. Oh my goodness, I have a genie book. I have a book that grants my wishes. I don't even know how or why, but this changes everything. But what if 
what if it's like an actual genie and I already used up my three wishes? Only one way to find out. I wish... Hmm. I wish my nails were painted pink. What am I doing? This is so dumb. <gasps> it worked! I can't believe it! I can have everything I've ever wanted now! But I should still be careful. Who knows if the wishes might run out. <sighs> I... I need to clear my mind from all this right now. This is all too overwhelming. Am I hallucinating? Probably. I'm just gonna read a book before I get tempted to make any more unnecessary wishes. Ready to meet at the dino at five? Yep, see you soon. You never know. It's just so odd. I've had zero notifications from anyone today, except you. I just don't get it. That's... that's weird. Do I tell her? Hey there. The usual? Yep. And? I'll have a hamburger. Alright. I can never get over how you order pancakes even when we come here for dinners. I like pancakes, okay? <sighs> Every time, I think it's gonna be different. And he's gonna say something like, Hey, you look beautiful today. Wanna ditch this place and drive off into the sunset together? <laughs> <sighs> I wish he would. I wish he... <gasps> what? Oh, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go use the washroom before our food gets here. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. <sighs> Why in the world did I not think about this before? I wish that Austin loved me. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching this Barbie doll mini movie. This is, if you can't already tell, part one of this mini movie. I am gonna be posting part two very soon, so don't worry, I'm not gonna leave you on a cliffhanger for too long. I do wanna mention that I did create this story by myself. However, if you want a chance of getting a story idea that you made yourself turn into a doll mini movie, you can email the script to me at dvstoryideas at gmail.com and you could have a chance of getting your story turned into a mini doll movie. I know the last doll mini movie I made was also created by myself, but I just also had this awesome idea for this one. So hopefully you guys don't mind. But yeah, again, if you have a story idea, make sure to email it to me. Make sure to comment below and let me know what you thought of this mini movie and what you think is gonna happen next. Also guys, if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe because 80% of you guys aren't subscribed. And that means that if all of you who are watching and aren't subscribed did subscribe, we could literally be at like a million subscribers. So if you're watching my videos and you enjoy them, please don't forget to do that and subscribe down below. Now, before we end today's video, the shout outs for today go to Ashlyn Marie 1998, Blueberry Squad, and Lemon Lee. Thank you so, so much for supporting my channel. And remember, if you want a chance of getting a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell and comment down below with the hashtag DV squad and you'll have a chance of getting a shout out in the next video. Thank you once again so much for watching and I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye.